Hello everyone, uh, this will be my review of the Dapol Class 73. What made me decide to do this review was, uh, I've been looking at the Dapol Class 73 now for, I think the model's been out well over a year, and uh, I haven't seen very much footage on YouTube of, uh, well, any uh, Class 73 by Dapol. There's hardly any reviews uh, and there's especially very little footage of the um, Intercity liveried Class 73, which I've got here. So I just thought to help anyone else out in the future, I thought I'd give a, uh, a go to giving it a review. So uh, let's see how we go. Right, let's kick off with the box. Um, I never really bother with boxes. I always keep them to keep the value and to, and to look after the locos. But uh, Dapple have really uh, pushed the boat out with the box. They've actually copied Halgen's design. It's a very uh, good looking box. Very strong. And your loco will be very safe. Uh, on the front of it. I don't know if the light will catch it. You've actually got the uh, drawing of the 73. With all the detail on. The computer drawn one. There you go. And it really shows off how detailed the Class 73 is. And actually the model itself has got that level of detail in which I will get into a little later for you. So if we uh, pop the uh, lid away. Inside we've got the uh, instruction sheet. Let me show you. We've got there. Which uh, does go into quite a lot of detail actually. First running in, fitting accessories, how to remove the body. Uh, fit in a decoder that's that's simple in itself 24 month no quibble guarantee um, and removing the cab but uh, mine's fitted I've already had to uh, take the body off and put the chip in but wasn't too hard that's the uh, little thing for the um, decoder so if we peel away the uh, this lovely bit of niceness They've copied Backman, and we've got the uh, ice block packaging, as you can see. A really good box, you know, I admit you do pay a good whack for this model, £120. You know, Dapple really are, they, they want you to pay, but at least, you know, you're not getting like a, uh, a cheap little box. Your model is it's, it's secure, it's safe, you know, the box is, is really good. You also get... A bag of bits you get. Oh, it's really out. My eyesight ain't that good. I can't really make it out. Yeah. Um, it might tell you on the sheet actually. I'll have a look. Oh, on the back accessory fitting guide. There we go. Oh, and then you can order all your different parts as well for the loco. So, that's all sweet and dandy. Right, let's get looking at the model. Here she is. This is 73102 Air Tour Suisse. Yeah, I think it's. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a uh, Switzerland airline, I believe. Um, very little history on um, how the loco got its name or... Um, well, much about the loco at all really I have tried looking I might not have tried looking very hard I don't know but there wasn't all that much information if I switch the camera there we go get a closer look of it so this is the uh, executive swallow livery with the uh, yellow cab the 73s had the uh, yellow roof and the yellow front on the cab as well the uh, this is the earlier livery then the Swallow livery, the later one, um, they extended the livery to the side of the cabs. This was also the same on the Class 47s, because um, they uh, had the yellow cab, and then they also had the black on the front as well, which came halfway down the cab. Uh, it's a very nice livery, it's actually applied very well, and it's a 100% it's a accurate, the livery, it's bang on. You know, if I pull up these Hornby coaches, As you can see, if I move the camera, there you go. They look really good together. Um, 
it might look like the coaches are actually a slightly different colour and that's because they are. I believe that the uh, Intercity coaches were a cream sort of colour on the bottom, yet the Locos always wore white, which was a little strange. But um, there you go, this, I've got the full, full rake as you can see down there, and if we pan out, I'm trying to film on my phone, I do apologise. There, does look absolutely brilliant. So if I put the flash on, you can actually see, you can see inside the cab, and if I put the camera down, there you go, you can actually see through the grills as well. The uh, detailing, it comes away from the grill, it's further inside, so actually, there you see, it's 3D. It's like the Hornby on the Class 60. If you look through that little window there, you can just about see the motor. I'll point to it, it's just there, there you go. And then as we come along, you can see the uh, under frame detailing as we keep coming along. You can see, th see through that vent as well, down to the other cab. If I go all the way down, you can actually see, there you go. You can see that they are different colours. But the coach, if you, if you look in any of the photos, the, the logos always wore a different colour. I'm not sure why. If anyone does know, please let me know. I'd love to know. As for performance of the uh, Loco, is that it's actually very good. Um, Dapple have put a new, uh, I think they call it super smooth motor, five pole motor. And as this is DCC, it's you, you can really um, test it. I'll show you its slow speed performance. That's on uh, speed notch one, two, three and then we'll get it to come back into view it's very smooth not jumpy um, obviously this model I have been running it for a little bit but I do notice when you actually uh, first run it when the mo when the loco's cold um, it can be very jittery very jumpy until it's done a few laps and warmed itself up um, so I admit, you get this with some locos, even the the Batman diesels and uh, even Hornby, they're a bit slow with them. Once they warm up, they get going. But this one, you really notice it. I might have to do a follow up video just to uh, to show you. But um, when it's, I leave it parked up in the station, and when I came down to run it today, very jittery. The lights are flickering all over the place. It's not dirty track or nothing because the track's already been cleaned. And then as it goes round a few times. Um, it it just gets going, it warms up. Another thing I've noticed as well, I don't want to keep sounding like I'm going on, on a bit of a bad streak for the Class 73, but um, it's it, there's a good weight to it. It is very heavy, but I've noticed um, as you go around bends as well, sometimes it'll go around fine, you can leave it running for hours and it's fine. And then sometimes it just the, the uh, front bogey just completely jumps off the rail, which is really strange. Um, because it's not like the wheel just derails, like one of the axles derails and throws one of the wheels off. The whole bogey literally just leaps off and then the whole loco just dives into uh, into the uh, the ballast in the middle, which is um, very strange. But uh, obviously I'll, I'll put some running shots in, but for performance, this it does run. Once, it get, once you get it going, really good. For the price... I think you could get better. Um, would I buy another one? Probably not. It's a model you have to have one of, but I don't think I'd want another one. Um, just for the slight issues that I've got with it. Maybe this is just one of the early releases and um, they might have worked it out now. Or this, it might be just a one-off. It might be just my model, I'm not sure. But um, it's a bit strange. But... When when it does get going, like I said, it runs well and it looks the part. You know, if you have a late BR, you have to have a Class 73. Um, you can have it in BR Blue. There's the early variants in BR Green. Um, they, they, you can get the uh, special edition 
Gatwick Express liveried one, that's the uh, Swallow livery and it's got um, Intercity livery onto the side of the cabs, you've not got the yellow cab ends and you've also got the high intensity light in the uh, middle as well on uh, each cab which this loco misses as this loco is portrayed as it, as it was in about 1984 when it never gained its uh, high intensity light. And for anyone who's wondering, 73102 still exists to this day. Um, it, yeah, it's still, it's preserved. Um, I can't remember where off the top of my head. I probably should have done some research before this video. But uh, it is still preser preserved, as I believe. Um, uh, a very quick Google search, and uh, it turns out that 73102 is actually the uh, oldest Class 73 still in mainline operation. Which is quite uh, quite an achievement, and it's running with the uh, GBRF. So uh, it's it's nice to know that uh, it's still going after all these years. Gnarly, let's uh, let's get it going. 